This is a night where we remember that you don't have to be an elected official to be doing great things for the Cherokee Nation. The people represented here tonight are help keeping our nation, our nation strong, making it great. Our next award for outstanding leadership goes to Thomas Belt. Tom, a Cherokee lecturer at Stanford University in Palo Alto, California, believes preserving the Cherokee language protects our culture, our identity, and our future. Our last award for outstanding leadership goes to Mr. Saul Bird Moggison. His work has gained national recognition from the Central Region Association of American Indian Social Workers and remains active in leadership roles in the Oaks Mission School. Our first Patriot Award goes to Ernie L. Frost. <laughs> Ernie works tirelessly towards cultural preservation and offers spiritual counseling to his community. Jerry is a retired Master Sergeant of the United States Air Force Reserve, has served in many capacities during his 33 years of service. Our last Patriot is Mita Nix. <laughs> Mita served in the United States Marine Corps from 1969 to 1970. She now proudly serves as a Cherokee Nation as an emergent school teacher. Our first award for group leadership goes to the Rural Communities Initiative Foundation, or RCIF. <laughs> RCIF aims to help others help themselves in two ways. First, RCIF implements programs that are already in place. Secondly, it bridges the gap for citizens who lack access or familiarity with those programs. A dream between a father and a son to bring the enlightenment of Native American traditions, culture, language, and history to their communities, inspired the creation of the Navy, Native American Fellowship Incorporated. Founded in 2003, NAFI has grown from 30 to 500 members from various Native American tribes based out of South Coffeyville, Oklahoma. Georgia Cherokee Community Alliance. The Georgia Community the Cherokee Community Alliance, or GCCA, was founded in March of 2018 in Marietta, Georgia. The Alliance's goal uh, this year is to further solidify itself and find permanent establishment to Sherry Baker Road. <laughs> Sherry proudly served the Cherokee people alongside her husband from October 2011 to August of 2019. Congratulations, Mr. Don Hoffman. He remains active in the Oaks community and is honored by this recognition. The next award goes to Joe West. He devotes his time to Cherokees of the North Central Valley, Northern Central Valley. 